welcome to D-Lab everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to incorporate the K1 push to talk module into a Halocrafter HT32 transmitter and the HT37. Check this out. All right, so as you know, D-Lab makes these little K1 and K2 relay modules that are installed into transmitters to eliminate wear and tear on either a function switch or having to flip a bat handle toggle switch every time you want to key up, okay? So it's been a great project and I've been selling quite a few, so I'm very happy about that. Well, a fellow ham contacted me and said, hey, Terry, I want one of your modules for my Halicrafters HT32 transmitter. He said the HT32 only has Vox operation or MOX operation. Either way, you're gonna have to flip either the function switch or you're going to have to talk and hopefully the transmitter keys up. So he wants to put push to talk into the HT32. Well, the problem is I don't have an HT32 here to test it on. So he provided me a schematic and I actually made a prototype setup to demonstrate how well this module would work in that transmitter. And it works great. Take a look at this. Okay, here's my setup to simulate the push to talk system in a Halicrafter HT32 transmitter. I've got a Heathkit high voltage power supply. This little power supply is actually being used for negative bias. I'll explain that in a minute. We have just a base of a microphone going to a connector. And then this board is actually a combination of the circuitry from the HT32 and one of my little push to talk modules. Okay, so let me show you how I came up with this and the function of each of these components. Well, let's first take a look at the diagram for the push to talk system in the HT32 transmitter. This is my little relay board. Here's the mic jack that you're going to add to the front of your transmitter. This is the original circuitry from the HT32 manual. Okay. So this is the relay to V17, which is a 12AT7. So when you talk, this is part of the Vox system. Your signal comes in, this tube says, hey, I see audio, conducts current through the tube, pulling in the Vox relay. And then you're talking, right? So to accomplish the same thing with my board, I'm simply going to tee in to pin one of that tube and the K1 relay is going to pull it low with a little current limiting resistor like they have here. So when this goes low, this line goes low, bypasses the tube, pulls in the relay, and you've got push to talk. So let me show you the module in action. All right, here's my demo unit built on some perf board sitting on a piece of wood. From this point over, is a recreation of the circuitry from the HT32's schematic. So V17 is a 12AT7 and here is the Vox relay. This switch toggles negative voltage to that tube which would key this relay just like it does in the HT32. Here is my push to talk module which is wired per that diagram that I showed you. All right, so in this demonstration, I'll be able to show you normal operation of the HT32 and then push to talk operation of the K1 relay. All right, once again, we have our microphone input going to the K1. This power supply generates the negative voltage for the original HT32 circuitry. My power supply generates filament voltage, so the 12AT7 is already fired up. And we need to turn on a higher voltage. So I'm a little over 300 volts, and that's what you'll also find in the HD32. Okay? So at this point, when I key up the radio using the original circuitry that went to V17, you're going to see this light come on. When I key my system, you will see this light come on, indicating the K1 pulled in, and it also keys the Vox relay. So that's how you can keep track of what's going on. All right, so first, let's simply key the 12AT7 tube, which pulls in the Vox relay using the receive transmit function. So what this is doing is toggling negative voltage to that tube. 
So that is the normal operation when you're talking and receiving with the HD32. Okay. Now, if I were to take my microphone and key it, the K1 pulls in and also keys the transmitter. It actually works in parallel with the 12AT7. So if you didn't want to use this, you want to use your normal Vox operation that has not been affected. The K1 simply gives you push to talk using your microphone, not having to use the function switch or the Vox feature of the HT32. So what a great way to prove out a concept without having to have this gigantic helicrapper transmitter hogging up my bench, right? This is how they did it in the old days, guys. They didn't have a computerized program. They actually created the circuitry and they tested it and verified that that would work for the application. That's what I did here. Kind of reminds me of the old days when I was a kid going to Radio Shack, perf boarding up something, watching the smoke fly. In this case, though, it works great, as you can see. So the next step will be to get one of these kits out there, have somebody install it in their Helicrafter, and give me a report. Then we can move on to other models, like the HT37. And if you take a look, it uses the same circuitry. So, we're so if you'd like to add the K1 push to talk module to your Helicrafter transmitter, Contact D-Lab, I'll fix you up. Thanks for watching, guys.